Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for my very first um, astrophotography and astronomy video. So um, recently I did a review and just f uh, initial talking points about my very first astrophotography camera which is the ZWO C-Star S50 and it is fantastic. Um, thank you all by the way. Um, it is the first video on this channel to get 400, 500, 600 and uh, as of recording this about 700 views so far in the first couple days. So thank you all so much um, for just the amazing support of that video. It did fantastic. And, uh, you know, that was my first gear review. Um, I have a birding one lined up. I don't know if that'll come out before this video or a little bit after, but we shall see. But uh, I'm going to do a quick intro, um, just on basically that being the camera that we're going to be using. And over the next few days, I'm going to be capturing my very first Nebula. So um, I tried out the camera, obviously, for my first uh, little review of it, just to talk to you guys about it. Um, some clear skies, um, some bad nights, and, you know, weather-wise, and rain, and wind, and all that good stuff. And the very first object that we're going to be capturing is the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is a fantastic object for beginning astrophotographers and beginners to like astronomy in general. Um, it is able to be seen with the naked eye depending on where you are um, and the amount of light in the area, depending on your eyes. So all that good stuff. But you can definitely see it with a uh, smaller to medium sized telescope. It is uh, one of the easier objects to find in the night sky. Um, it is also known as M42 or Messier 42. Um, if you look it up like scientifically, it is of course in my favorite constellation, which is Orion, um, in the southern portion of it, <clears throat> excuse me, below the Orion's belt. So, you know, you got a lot of good nebula in that area. Um, and here in Pennsylvania during the winter months, uh, this is in uh, early March. I started this um, kind of like photographing this in late February into early March. Um, so that is going to kind of be a really good point. In fact, every night is a really good night for the Orion Nebula. So um, it's a good spot to kind of start. And I'm going to kind of show you guys like what we're currently looking at in terms of like the camera, like I'll show you guys where I have it positioned and why. Um, and then I'm going to include some photos. Um, I'm, I hope this turns out well. Um, I'm really happy with some of the photos I've been getting as practice. However, um, once I actually put them, you know, in the 16 by nine, upload them to YouTube, we'll see how they work out, but it looks really good for me so far. And, uh, you know, we broke out the Doctor Who shirt for some good luck. So, um, I'm really excited to start doing it. I have my first, a uh, few objects lined up in terms of what I want to do, but obviously it depends on clear skies and good weather and um, just location in the sky as well. Um, like I said, the Orion Nebula right now, and I'm gesturing to my window, <laughs> um, is a really good spot. So uh, we looks like we have some good weather. So um, again, I have a lot of stuff on my radar, a couple things in different positions in the sky, depending on cloud coverage and just where the trees are. Um, essentially for this camera, you want to have the most exposure time possible. Um, I live in an apartment building with many other people. So I essentially have to keep it in the parking lot where I can see it. So it doesn't get stolen because it's still, you know, 20 degrees out there some nights. Um, and I'm not sitting out there for four hours. So some of these longer explosions, um, I am doing it at work as well. Um, I have a spot in our parking lot where, you know, it's hidden and stuff like that. So um, I'm doing photos at work, at home. We're going to try and like build a video. Um, obviously, my work off the start is going to be beginner's work. Uh, so definitely, like I said in that be uh, the intro video to the astrophotography camera, the S50, um, it is a beginner um, journey for me. So, you know, it is not going to be the Hubble telescope or the James Webb telescope level of imaging. We're going to do our very best and try and get off to a pretty good point. But for the future of these videos, I do want to talk about like kind of what I'm after, what it is, how far away it is, um, and how you can see it. So basically, like I said, telescope, naked eye, binoculars, um, it is a bright enough object. Object. It is a magnitude four, I believe. Um, and again, obviously there's a parent magnitude and all that good stuff, but essentially magnitude is how bright it is in the night sky. The lower the number, uh, so essentially like the sun is like negative 30 or something like that. Um, so the higher the number is actually how dull it is. So it's kind of the opposite of how you would think. Um, magnitude four is again, naked eye telescope photography camera stuff like that it is pretty friendly whereas um the horsehead nebula which is just above this right near the uh if you're looking at dead on the left side of the belt of orion i forget what that's i forget which one it is i always get the three uh belt stars messed up but that is um a much harder one to get because the magnitude is lower 
It has some interference with a really bright star, which actually does throw off some astrophotography cameras, especially the S50, as far as I've been told, um, that were those really bright objects tend to kind of like drown out some of the other stuff. So um, there is that to deal with, but it is about 1500 light years from Earth, which in the grand scheme of things, it is one of the closest objects that we're probably going to be dealing with. Um, it is like it kind of in like the sword region is kind of what you're told. And again, it is in the Orion Nebula. Um, a nebula in this case is going to be a place where just thousands of stars are essentially being born and being created and it's clouds of dust and particles and debris that we are essentially seeing it is a beautiful coloration of just purple and orange and white and blue it is uh one of the iconic images of astronomy astrophotography space nebula all that good stuff so i'm very excited um it's going to be pretty awesome like i said i've seen it through my lens um i will include like the uh beginner photos as well kind of like instant like exposure time and again depending on what night you do this depending on how clear of a sky that you have um depending on uh what range of the world you're in and what time of the year these things change so the orion nebula is really good right now um on my list for the future objects i would love to do like jupiter and mars but those are a little bit tougher because i was told i should do video mode i don't even know how to do, i don't know i don't know if i can record that i don't know we're learning um but like the beehive cluster uh Owl's Eye Nebula, got to view some of that, and uh, like the Leo triplets, and just some awesome objects, so I don't want to do all Nebula, but they are my favorite, uh, them and the galaxies, you know, they're tough, but they're two very different things as well, um, obviously the darker and farther away the image is, the harder it is to get, so some of these might not be the most successful, others I'm expecting to go a little bit better, so like the Andromeda Galaxy, not great for my hemisphere right now, um, you know, it's just on that horizon line where I can't see, or it's the, the worst time and I can't ever get it, so um, that's obviously something to look forward to later on in the year, so some of these objects are going to be rotating, obviously back and forth, I'm going to work on getting as much exposure time as I can, but um, again, all of my beginner work here is obviously a learning experience so if you guys are just getting into the hobby or into this scope uh slash camera whatever you want to call it um don't expect the james webb level of uh, images right away um expect to learn and I, i'm just learning how to deep image stack now so some of my early images are quite literally just single stacked photos which is not something that you see very often in the uh, astrophotography um you essentially want to get a program uh, like Deep Sky Stacker, I believe it is. Um, there's a couple dedicated for ZWO products. Um, there's also an internal system built in, which I quite literally just learned how to use last night. So um, it is going to be a learning experience. I'm going to try and get as many of these videos out as I can. I would love to do every Sunday, but I know that's going to be really difficult depending on the weather, my schedule, and everything else. But we're going to see how it goes, and I'm really excited to bring you guys my very first astrophotography video. So thank you all for joining me. I will have a link in my Instagram and in the description below as well if you guys want to take a look at some of the projects that i'm currently working on or just some smaller pictures of stuff like the moon or well, we'll see we're going to obviously get through a lot of these videos hopefully one day but um when sometimes like i did a 440 photos for one stack yesterday and it got okay that's a lot of effort for this so the intros will be the bulk and then we'll go through some pictures and i'll show you guys kind of where i have it positioned and again where it is in the night sky but yeah let's get started on the awesome video guys all right, so obviously the video quality is gonna be a little bit rough outside. Um, I also just bought a light so I can actually hold it on my uh, <laughs> my hat at night when I do these videos, but um, you can see it sits very low to the ground. Today we're going to be after, like I said, the Orion Nebula, which is a really, really good starting point. We have a pretty good uh, night sky here, so I'm gonna try and get a few more images. Um, than the previous night when I did like, you know, the little test run I was talking about. Um, that got pretty decent, but we're gonna do a much longer exposure time and see how that turns out. I have no idea why my camera is such bad lighting right now. Anyways, first night was a success for the Orion Nebula. Um, looking at the picture now on my computer. Um, obviously it was only about a half hour. Um, yeah, I have no idea why the lighting is so bad in here. I have no idea why it's so blurry. Um, but the first night was a success. I am also going to be posting this stuff on Astrobin. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically, imagine Instagram for astrophotography. It's really nice. Um, I don't think I covered that in the intro at all, um, but I'm slowly learning how to use it. Um, I will have a link to my uh, like profile and stuff on there if you guys want a better, longer look at some of these. And even better than it being just on Instagram uh, with the star plating and everything that goes on, you can kind of like 
analyze all the little details of it so definitely looks pretty cool looks like we have another clear night tonight so the first half hour and i included screenshots from zero seconds where you could actually like see the live view um to like the 30 minute mark or so and then a video um uh, sorry an image of it before editing and then after editing just to like enhance some of the colors and try and denoise it and some stuff like that so i included just a couple pictures there again if you want a longer look um at them just it's not the best to put them on youtube like they don't turn out near as good um they're a lot more detailed and stuff on astrobin and instagram so i'll have links to those in the description below um tonight again we're going to have a bit of a uh, clear night again so um excited for that Hopefully it's going to go pretty well. Um, I'm going to set it up outside of my job, so it's going to be a little bit different. I'll try and remember to actually like uh, take a couple either pictures or at least um, a little video of like where it's kind of positioned. I'm gonna try and put it on my car for one of these runs. Maybe we'll do that tonight, depending on the trees. But um, there's a row of houses behind where I work, and the Orion Nebula, um, and obviously the Orion um constellation they go right over those houses so should be pretty cool um as long as i can get over like a pretty big tree we should be good to go but i'm hoping for at least a couple hours or so of um pretty good uh clear skies tonight so let's hope for the best you know sometimes you gotta put it on the roof of your car to get a better view but hey it's working out pretty well <laughs> it's a very clear sky tonight moon I'm not sure how much of this you guys can see, but it is a really beautiful night, so hopefully we can complete our Orion Nebula. All right, the lighting's still terrible for some apparent reason, but tonight was a glorious success. I'm a little over an hour, fully edited and stacked. So the first time around, I forgot to say that they were single stacked um, photos. I honestly, I did my ZWO wrong and the S50 can stack them in it and I messed it up. So all that good stuff. Um, second time around, I did get to stack them. Again, sorry about the lighting. <laughs> You're driving me nuts looking at my screen right now. Um, I upgraded the lighting for like this half of the studio and now this half looks terrible i don't know i, I need, i'm trying to upgrade all the lighting it's driving me nuts and i'm getting there slowly slowly but surely getting there um so tonight was a glorious success turned out amazing my first full like stacked um it was i believe 275 photos um, over about an hour and then another 40 minutes or so of stacking um, in the internal system itself for the S50 um, and then edited it in a little bit in Photoshop and again I posted those results to Astrobin as well in the top right hand corner of those photos it's actually really cool that is the Running Man Nebula um, is it 2077 NGC or something like that it's 1977 one of those um, but that's you know nice two for one but finally um, a glorious picture of the Orion Nebula now there's obviously a lot more I can do with it um, the more that I get better photos um, and the longer exposure time the more I can start stacking these so um, I will revisit the Orion Nebula it's just a really good starting point to get my astrophotography off to um, a good start in my opinion just because like it looks amazing and I'm so so happy I've been seeing some amazing things out there um, Orion is pretty much hidden in my at my house and it's really visible at my job so I'm trying to balance between where it's like I get half the night sky at one place, half at the other. When I work nights, I just take it outside and I hide it and oh, we'd get some good astrophotography. So, <coughs> excuse me, but it worked out perfect. So thank you guys so much for joining me for my very first astrophotography session. Sorry again about the indoor lighting. Um, I'm going to try and get good formats for how to do it. Um, you know, I, I obviously it's a lot of me talking, me showing you um, kind of how it's set up doing a description of what we're looking at, nebula, planet, star, moon, whatever else, um, talking about the equipment, which is pretty much always going to be a ZWO S50 for now, um, and then obviously posting the rest of the results on Astrobin. So again, if you want a better, like more detailed look, I know that's what really got me hooked when it's like, wow, it's not just a couple of random sources of light. Like there's a galaxy in this background and another nebula in that background. And you know, there's a giant sun in the back or star in the background there. It's really cool. Once you can kind of see all the named like features that you're getting, 
it's just amazing. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on my very first Astro Photography Adventure. Again, Astrobin and Instagram will be linked in the description below. If you guys want a longer image um, and like follow along with my day-to-day -day activities, uh, I don't know what's going to be next. Uh, I have first planet, first star cluster lined up, and first galaxy as well, but then I'm getting decent results on some of the nebula too, so um, I'm going to be bouncing around between a lot of them. We'll see how it gets, but thank you all so much. Clear skies, and I'll see you next time.